So, everything's looking quite a success. You come over here. I have very amateurly <laughs> tried to take this or get this chicken wire here to stop the rabbit. It hasn't really worked. So I've had to up my defences. So I have built some of these up. The straw flowers are actually doing really well. The rabbits don't seem to like straw flowers. And the rabbits don't seem to like snapdragons. So we're really good with the straw flowers and the snapdragons. The dahlias seem okay as well there. But my zinnias are looking pretty miserable. The rabbits got them. So I've added this second layer here. Oh, I see slug. Right, slug. Okay, slug alert. What I do with slugs is I put them in a tray and then I feed them, put them on the bird feeder. I wasn't supposed to be doing this about slugs. So um, there's another one here as well. Let's get the slugs off. Ah! Don't know where he's gone. I have to edit this. Anyway. There's a slug, I'll put it in near the bird feeder. Here are my ranunculus. These also got eaten by the rabbits. So I've built it up another layer with another pallet collar and I've added this net. Now I'm expanding next year. This is actually quite a success. My stocks have done well. Um, so what I've done here is I'm making another compost heap. And this is really well rotted manure from this way. So today we've put about five wheelbarrows of rotted manure in here and I can fill in some more there. Um, so again I'm using pallet collars, about five quid each Facebook marketplace, best thing ever. So um, as I was saying, upping the rabbit defences. Now, if you come from this way with me, I'm going to get out of here. I've got... <laughs> I'm already thinking about next year, so I've got my compost here. I've got some more pallet collars. So, um, I'll probably end up buying more so I can stack these and make my planters higher. Milo, shush. I just saw a rabbit run right behind us. <laughs> This is where the slug goes. And the birds will come and get him. This has been cleared away by the farmer. He's literally scooped up. It was up here, it was up to here. He scooped this away and he's left me with this. This is about eight months old. It's been pretty well rotted down. And this will be what I'm going to use for my planters next spring. So I'm already thinking about this. This is the new pile. This is what it looks like new. This is only about four days. And it sinks down just like your grass cuttings and stuff does. Um, but that's about eight months old. That can get used <coughs> next spring. So, now I've shown you that, I'm gonna cut <coughs> Milo. I'm gonna cut some of the flowers for my friend who's filming. I'm gonna go and cut some straw flowers and some snapdragons because that was the whole reason I built this path. So <coughs> and my snapdragons are really great. The snapdragons seem to grow back. I think the straw flowers It's like you cut them and they come back and as you can see I've coordinated my colours. So, these are also really great, you can hear them, quite crispy, they're good for drying. Oh, 
Right, let me look for that slug. That pesky slug. See, I'm good. I do do this by hand. I don't always, you know, I don't put any chemicals down to kill slugs. I'm like, I go on slug patrol and then I feed them to the birds. But usually, I have to admit, I pick them off with my hands using gloves. Um, and my fiance thinks I'm nuts because I squat around my flowers for ages just trying to find slugs but it's been wet today but here's another one going by the bird feeder circle of life <laughs> <laughs>